So sit in Padmasan and let's do some body rotations from right to left as you bend forward to exhale. And as you bend back, inhale. Now the other side. Now come to the center and relax. Release your legs. Let's do Bhujangasana. In Bhujangasana, try to keep your feet together. Don't spread them apart. Just try to keep the feet together. And hands under the shoulders. And lift your upper torso up. You can keep your elbows bent like this. Extend your hands, stretch them straight. Feel the stretch in the spine. Slowly come back. Relax. Let's do it one more time. Pujangasan. Take two, two more deep breaths. And now stretch your hands. Look up. And slowly come back. Now, extend your hands in front and lift your legs up. Lift your legs up and lift your hands. Supporting yourself on the navel. Now spread your legs and spread your hands so that like a superman you're flying and you're supported on the navel. Now slowly clasp your ankles and stretch in Tadrasan. Keep smiling. And relax. Relax on the floor. Now make fists and keep the fist under your groin, the upper thigh, and lift your legs up. Put the chin on the floor. Shalabhasan. Slowly come down and relax. Now lie down in Makarasan. What you do in Makarasan on the floor? You take the support of your hand and lie down like this. Okay, you're supporting your your legs are as if you're sleeping on your tummy. And just close your eyes. And let's do Brahmari Pranayam, which is a humming noise with your mouth and feel the entire skull, your upper head vibrate. Take a deep breath in again and do Brahmari again. Two more times you will do.
Now let's lie down in Makarasana, the other side. You do the same. You lie on your floor and do Brahmani twice. So we get up. Let's do some cat cow stretches. Just get all your force. <clears throat> Hope you can see me. Get on your fours and as you breathe in, you look up and you let your tummy hang down. Breathe, breathe out. Feel the stretch in your spine as if like a cat you're trying to touch the ceiling with the spine. Let's do it five more times with deep breaths. Now, sit on your, on your booty, extend your left leg and keep your right leg, you know, you don't extend your right leg now, just fold it, stretch your hands up and let's do Janashir Shasan, hold your foot and try to stretch. So you come back, straighten your right leg, fold your left leg, keep it next to your thigh. If you feel that you want to increase your flexibility, then put your left foot inside your thigh, extend your hands up, hold your foot, and relax in this pose. Slowly come up. Now let's do Paschimottasana. Hamstring string stretch. You extend your legs in front. Stretch your hands up and hold your feet. So we come up. Now extend your feet a bit. Let's do a twist, martial art twist. Keep your hands behind. Share it with you. Pandra minute. And touch. So we come up. Now keep your hands to the side. As you twist to three different. So you come up. Now lie down. Let's do Sarvangasan. Tuck your chin. Chin in between your collarbones. Legs straight up. Slowly go to Halasan. Try to touch your toes in Halasan. Now 
Now bend your knees and try touching your ears. Slowly come to Sarvangasana. Slowly come down. Let's do Natarajasana. You're taking your leg. Keep your shoulders planted, fixed on the floor. And you do a twist. Feel the stretch in the lower spine, lower back. the side. Stretch your hands, plant your shoulders on the floor, fold your left leg and twist. Try to touch the knee on the floor, but don't leave the shoulders from the floor. Slowly come to the center, relax. Come up. Let's do Ardhamatsindrasana. In Ardhamatsindrasana, this is a twisted pose. Very important to do regular twists to keep your spine supple. You take your legs. The right leg is next to your left knee. Take the support of your right hand. Extend your left hand up. And you hold your left hand and the right foot and If you are flexible, you can fold your hands in. This hand in the gap and twist. So we come back. The other side. The left leg next to your right leg. Stretch your hands up, your right hand up. Alexa, stop. And you hold your right hand with the left foot and twist. And with the left loop. And so we relax. Center. And you're done. You're done with your asanas. Let's conclude it with Kapal Bhati. Let's do Kapal Bhati for two minutes and then we will close it with uh, Nadi Shodhan Prana. But before that, let's do the Yoga Mudra, the final pose. Okay, so either sit in Padmasana or Sukhasana and make a fist here like this. Hold it here. Bend back and now bend forward. So what you're doing basically is you're trying to bend for the yogic C. If you're flexible, you can try to touch the nose on the floor. And feel the stretch. Slowly come up. Fine. Now let's do Kapal Bhati for two minutes. Alexa, play alarm after two minutes. Alarm after two minutes. Okay. 
Um, sit in, sit in chin mudra. Extend your, stretch your hands up. Try to keep your hands straight. And let's do Kapa. Smiling face. Alexa, stop. Relax your whole body. Slowly, whenever you're ready, open your eyes. Smiling face. And now, Shady, I'm stopping the video. You can go into Shavasan. Just lie down in Shavasan, relax your whole body. And then, you're done. You do your work. Bye-bye.